What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. After a drought of basically zero tech news, we're starting to get a little bit of rain. Some scattered showers, I will admit. Nothing amazing, but some stuff to get the ball rolling in the right direction. And it's all about everything today is about the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So without further ado, let's get into the tech news. Our first story of the day, again, about the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And has to do with a feature that is already on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. And um, what's, let's just talk about it. So here it is. This is the tweet. It's coming from this guy, I actually don't know who this guy is, but I saw Sam Mobile talking about him, uh, Mukul Sharma, who's saying exclusive serial production of the S Pen for the upcoming Z Fold 4 has begun in several Eurasian company or countries, I should say. So what does that mean? It means that they're starting to produce this, the S Pen that'll be for the Z Fold 4. Now, does that mean that the Z Fold 4 is gonna have a S Pen that goes inside of the phone? Not necessarily. Um, there's rumors that it's, it will have something like that. And I've been thinking about it. I actually think, like we did with the Z Fold 3, I think, remember we had the case that held the S Pen. I wouldn't be surprised if in some way that when the Z Fold 4 comes out, there's some kind of built-in, not case, but built-in compartment to house the S Pen. Maybe it's something that when you, you know, open and close this little hinge here, that it goes in there, goes in from the top or something, or in from the bottom, but it's not traditionally like, you know, towards the bottom of the phone. I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna be like a compartment for it, not so much the way they do it with the uh, S20, I don't have the phone near me, S22 Ultra, where it just goes into the bottom. I feel like it's gonna be like a little thing that sticks out or something. I don't know, it's just, just my thought. I could be completely wrong. Maybe they will do it the traditional way and put it at the bottom. I hope they do something where it does have the same features as the S22 Ultra so that you can use it from far away to do the air gestures and that you can do it as a camera shutter button and you can do whatever else you want with it in terms of those Bluetooth features that would come along with it. But as this story develops, I will definitely, definitely let you guys know. Next story is also about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the improvements that we want to see come to it, you know, what could those be? Like, I obviously you always know my ideas of what I want it to be, but Ice Universe threw out the question to saying, what improvements would you like to see with the Z Fold 4? And a few people answered some stuff and it kind of goes along with what I've been, you know, saying about the phone basically. You know, you've got Alvin here talking about the camera, how it needs to be improved. And then you also have Ben Geskin, who I think kind of laid it out the best, and I agree with him, except for one thing he's missing. He said overall slimmer design, which would be great, um, which at that point would probably hurt the battery, potentially. Flagship camera setup with Periscope, totally agree with that. That's definitely the most thing I would want out of this phone. And then better selfie camera, a gun, again, also has to do with the camera. But the one thing I feel like that's missing, and I did see a person or two mention it, is the battery life. The battery life has to be improved with the Z Fold 4. Now they can improve it by doing things such as maximizing the uh, usage of the phone so that it doesn't kill the battery. They could put a bigger battery in. They could do things like that. And I hope it's a little bit of the bo of both, you know, put a bigger battery in, but then also, you know, maximize how the software interacts with everything in the hardware so that it all melts together or maybe a little bit better and it doesn't completely kill the battery at all times. But that'll be your question of the day is, what are your three or four or five improvements that you think are needed for the Z Fold 4? Let us know in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that First question comes from Shelly Saunders says, how do I pull up labs that have recent activity? I have the Z Fold 3 and I'm confused. I want to go back to a Kaiser page I was just on and can't find it. I feel dumb. Thanks so much for the assistance. So Shelly, I want to pull up, oh, tabs, sorry. I think you said labs that have uh, recent, recent activity. Okay. So, it, well, I mean, I don't know what browser you're using. Shoot, Shelly. I'm assuming you probably didn't change the default browser, so you're probably using, or was it Chrome that default browser on there, man? 
Well, with, we'll talk about Chrome, I guess, if I'm wrong and you use the internet browser or whatever. So you got your website here, hit the three dots in the top right, and then you can look at history. That'll bring you up anything that you looked at. That's probably what you wanna look at. So I'd look through history from there. Hopefully that will help you. Otherwise, uh, on here, oh, there's also recent tabs. You could go to recent tabs that way too. So recent tabs or history should give you what you're looking for if you're using Chrome. Next question comes from Shomari17. Greggles, why won't you go through your warranty to fix your Z Fold 3? Same thing won't uh, happen to mine and I break your fixed replaced screen and hinge for free, I did, I tried to open up a case um, and they said they wouldn't do it. They said it's, uh, if it doesn't, if the screen isn't broke per se, like it doesn't have any breaks, that I can't do it. So I have to go through saying it's defective. I just haven't had the time to do it. Next up is George Ho saying question in regards to the Vivo X Fold. When you receive it, can you see if the imitation leather back would hinder heat dissipation from the phone due to its leather-like material. Thanks in general, glass or aluminum backs are better at heat dissipation for mobile phones. Yeah, I think, I, I mean, I'll have to just run a game on it and see how well it handles it and if it slows it down and stuff like that. So yeah, it's something I can look through. And our last question comes from New York's finest. How do I disable Google Assistant from the swipe up home screen, but we'll be able to use it with voice activation? I don't know what you mean by that because I don't have it on swiping up. When I swipe up, it just shows that. So I'm not sure what you mean when you swipe up, you see Google Assistant. I don't even remember that being a feature. If you can send me a video and send it to me on Twitter or Instagram so I know and do a screen recording of what you actually mean, I can try to help you from there. But otherwise, I don't really know what you're talking about. Thanks so much for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question as the first word, and we'll see you down the road.